Today we're responding to your comments on our $4 a day episode, and then we're going back to the supermarket to get even more bang for our buck. A few weeks back, we brought you an episode about how most people on SNAP, aka food stamps, have to eat on just $4 a day. We did our best to eat three meals for under $4 total. A lot of you had some criticism of our shopping choices, and it breaks down to this. Most people on SNAP aren't shopping each day with their $4, but instead buying weekly or monthly in bulk. Many people also pointed out that a lot of people on SNAP are living in more than one person households, and therefore can share their funds to buy even better. So let's look at this again. $4 a day, bought in bulk, and to help me this time is Devin Alexander, who is a Biggest Loser chef and also a weight loss expert. Thank you so much for coming in, Devin. My pleasure. Okay, so this is the shopping we did. This is about a week's worth of food for a family of three who's okay. on $4 a day. Now, to start off, when we did this episode before, when we were only shopping with $4, a ton of people were telling us to get beans and rice that that is like a staple for budget eating. Okay. I mean, in an ideal world, you'd be eating brown rice, but that usually costs a couple dollars extra. So unless you can get that in a bulk bin or something where it's really inexpensive, right. this really is a perfect option. Okay, and then this is our breakfast. This is such a good option because you could actually throw together a shake, throw your bananas in the freezer, and then make an awesome smoothie from right. milk, orange juice, and bananas. Tastes delicious. Okay, now here's our lunch. So we got hamburger buns as well yes. as the whole wheat bread. Yeah. And how about the tuna and the peanut butter and jelly that we have going on? Tuna is great. You can literally get, what is this, like four, four ounces or five ounces of lean protein for 50 cents most of the time. And then the peanut butter and jelly, you want to try to go natural with that as much as you can. And I know on a budget that's tougher, um, right. but you have corn syrup in the peanut butter there and corn syrup in the jelly. This ended up being about 50% of our total budget. Okay. So then the other 50% is dinner. Yes. So, and we actually got a decent amount of meat. You got almost 10 pounds of lean protein. And then so potatoes. I love that you got a bag of potatoes. Right. And these were the manager special. These were on sale. So we got this giant bag for 99 cents. The only reason potatoes have gotten a bad rap is because we Americans like to deep fry them or <laughs> chop them with tons of cheese and sour cream and things. And sure. I mean, just basic ketchup on to me. You know, cut them into strips for your kids, bake them in the oven, right. and then dip them in ketchup. Oh, and look for your spices in plastic bags as opposed to the jarred ones. Because again, the plastic packing, way cheaper. So then they charge a lot less right right so overall how did we do well I mean you did it most yeah. of this is real 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 food that you don't get in the drive throughs sure uh, I mean could we improve a little bit sure we could you know <laughs> I would have loved to see a few more veggies like those peppers are probably 99 cents each um, <laughs> so you know and a head of spinach to add to your breakfast tacos this is awesome thank you so much for coming on the show do you have any last pointers or tips for us I mean, I really encourage people to stay out of the drive through If you don't have an education on nutrient-dense foods, mm -hmm. then really try to do a little research, you know, especially with online now or go to the local library okay. and find out what foods are high in protein that are good for kids or even ask your doctor for a list because you can take that list and go to the grocery store and, and find things like celery even, 99 cents for a big bunch. Shopping on $4 a day is really tough, you guys. And while SNAP does pay for their food, it doesn't cover the rest of the essentials, such as toilet paper. We've really appreciated your comments on how you'd live on $4 a day and the stories of those of you who have. Remember, many SNAP recipients live in food deserts where inexpensive fruits and vegetables are just not available. But you can take your place in the fight against hunger by clicking the links in the description below for actions around the film, A Place at the Table. Thank you guys so much for joining us. For BFD, I'm Marisha Ray, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>